Hey friends, Psalm 109 is a Psalm of David. Psalms like these are sometimes called imprecatory psalms, uh, referring to the fact that the psalmist is calling down curses or judgment upon his enemies. And within the context of the Old Testament, remember, uh, God had promised to bless his people. And, and when his people were attacked by their enemies and, and when the king of Israel, the appointed of the Lord, was attacked, they were, in effect, attacking God. And, and David in this psalm is asking God to, to vindicate him, to judge the wicked and to vindicate him and to bless him. And there's a sense in which, for us as New Testament believers, we know God's going to do that in the future. Uh, but he was praying for it in the present. So this is what Psalm 109 says, O God, whom I praise, do not be silent, for wicked and deceitful men have opened their mouths against me. They've spoken against me with lying tongues, with words of hatred they surround me. They attack me without cause. In return for my friendship, they accuse me, but I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. Appoint an evil man to oppose them. Let an accuser uh, stand at his right hand. When he's tried, let him be found guilty, and may his prayers condemn him. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from their ruined homes. May a creditor seize all he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his labor. May no one extend kindness to him or take pity on his fatherless children. May his descendants be cut off, their names blotted out from the next generation. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. May the sin of his mother never be blotted out. May their sins always remain before the Lord, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. For he never thought of doing a kindness, but hounded to death the poor and the needy and the brokenhearted. He loved to pronounce a curse may come on him. He may he be found no pleasure and blessing, may be far from him. You are cursing as his garment, it entered in his body like water and his bones like oil. May it be like a cloak wrapped about him, like a belt tied forever around him. May this be the Lord's payment to my accusers, to those who speak evil of me. Then in verses 21 through 31, he prays for God's blessing. But you, O sovereign Lord, dwell, deal well with me for your name's sake, and of the goodness of out of the goodness of your love deliver me. For I'm poor and needy, my heart's wounded within me. I fade away like an evening shadow, I'm shaken off like a locust. My knees give way from fasting, my body's thin and gaunt. I'm an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me in accordance with your love. Let them know that it is your hand, that you, O Lord, have done it. They may curse, but you will bless. When they attack, they'll be put to shame, but your servant will rejoice. My accusers will be clothed in disgrace and wrapped in shame as in a cloak. With my mouth, I will greatly extol the Lord, and the great throng, I will praise him. For he stands at the right hand of the needy one to save his life from those who condemn him. So, listen to Psalm 109. Consider it. God will judge the wicked, and he will vindicate his own. Uh, be encouraged.